Hello and welcome to KLC School of Design. During this short video, I will explain how the online foundation degree in interior design operates. I'll explain what studying on an online course really involves and how the tuition is delivered. We'll also look at the foundation degree tutor team and how they can support you throughout your studies and also some examples of project submissions from our most recent cohorts. Finally, you'll be able to read some feedback from our students. So let's begin by looking at who the foundation degree might be suitable for. Our current students range from six form leavers to career changes, and our most recent cohort has students aging from 19 up to early 60s. But of course, there's no limit to the age range for this course. The minimum entry requirements are two A-levels or the educational equivalent. Students that do not meet the qualification requirements may also apply using our recognised prior learning route. This allows our admissions panel to take into consideration any skills that you have developed throughout your working life. The online foundation degree is part-time and it requires students to dedicate a minimum of 20 hours study time per week. This allows students to maintain their employment commitments alongside studying. We have found four working days per week is the recommended maximum to achieving a good work, life and study balance. The course welcomes international students and as part of the course design, we have continuously aimed to accommodate international time zones. There are two intakes throughout the year in January and September and the maximum cohort size is 40 students per intake. We have students located in London and across the UK but we also have students located in Europe and as far as Dubai and Singapore. The online foundation degree is hosted through our virtual learning environment. This is a space which allows students to access everything they require to complete their studies. Students access course materials through the curriculum, they submit project work and track their grades and progress throughout the course in this area. Students can keep their own diary entries through the My Journal facility and they can also access their peers profile page and use a private messaging facility to connect with their peers. You can also manage their time using the to-do list function and connect with the careers department via the my resume section. Finally, students are able to ask questions using the coffee shop forum. This is a space that allows students to collaborate, ask questions and share ideas. Let's take a quick look at the My Curriculum section of the site. The online foundation degree course is timetabled. There is a set start date and end date, and each term runs for a period of 12 weeks. There is a detailed timetable which explains what you should do each week, and along with the instructions, there are various course notes, online lectures, and task briefs to work through. The online lectures are pre-recorded and can be watched as many times as required. Students have reported that this facility is a particular advantage and the ability to pause and rewind lectures is a great tool for online learning. In addition to the timetabled online lessons, we also run live online lessons. These take place every fortnight using our virtual classroom facility. The live fortnightly online lessons require compulsory attendance from all students. Whilst we were designing the course, we were mindful that we needed to accommodate students in alternative time zones. Therefore, the fortnightly online seminar sessions are run at two different times. Students are able to choose between a 1pm lesson and a 6pm lesson. These lessons are exactly the same, the only difference is the timings. Let's take a closer look at the virtual classroom. 
students are able to log into the classroom from home or work and they're able to activate their cameras and microphones. Tutors are also visible at the top of the screen, which you can see here. In the centre of the screen, you can see a lecture presentation, which is given by the tutor. To the top right corner of the screen, you can see an attendee list. And beneath this, there is a chat pod where students can engage with one another. Let's now take a moment to look at an extract from a recent online lesson. Hi. So my question is about hobbies and interests. So you said that you um, like singing and you have a recording room. So um, what music do you like and do you like to sing? Okay, I like that question because I love music. Um, I have always been uh, fairly passionate about music, um, albeit one, one genre really. Um, music really influences my mood. So that if I um, was working from home, I'd want some sort of music system close to where I'm working. So now we've covered the curriculum section of the virtual learning environment. Let's take a look at another important feature, which is the coffee shop forum. The coffee shop forum works in a similar way to any other traditional forum you may have used. Students can ask questions by creating a new topic. The Coffee Shop Forum is monitored by a foundation degree tutor during weekdays and they will respond to students' queries. But this is not the only great feature of the Coffee Shop Forum. Posts can be seen by the whole cohort. So this means that if a student asks a question, the whole cohort is able to benefit from the tutor's response. We also encourage students to respond to each other's queries if they feel confident with the answer. The Coffee Shop Forum has become a vital support system for the online foundation degree. Students regularly check in to see what activity has been taking place and also connect with one another. Let's now look at some examples of student submissions. Project work is submitted online through the My Profile Pages section of the virtual learning environment. Students create profile pages, which are very similar to blog pages. Images can be uploaded to the page, along with text, documents, mood boards and other various submission requirements that we set. Students also create a short video recording to present their project work and this is also connected to the project page. Let's now take a moment to view a recent video submitted by one of our current students, Lorraine Whiteland. Hello and welcome to you all. It's Lorraine here. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to my Project One presentation. Without further ado, let's dive in. So here we are at the beginning of Project One and my research. Just to remind you, my apartment is a riverside apartment in the centre of Norwich, overlooking the historic quarter of Norwich. So I started my investigation of the area with quite a specific so on Magdalen Street there is a shop called Luce's which is an antiques emporium and is cited by the client as a place she really likes to spend time and just really loves the experience of looking round. And so I went in and I had a look at these fixtures and fittings and the skin of the building to really get an idea of what was captivating her and I've recorded them in this section. So things like the window with this obscurity glass. The lift door here has proven to be very inspirational and the text above it. Here I'm looking at uh, the parquet flooring and that went on to inspire some imagery, some possible directions, creative directions. Finally, here you can see some feedback that we recently received from our students. Take a moment to read through each of the speech bubbles.
thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions regarding the online foundation degree, please ask a member of the foundation degree tutor team or a member of the admissions team who will be happy to help.